underside. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all the way from, from Nepal. Nepal. That's right. Yeah, the only country in the world which does not have a square flag. That's correct. <laughs> yes. That's, That's true, really though. impressive, correct? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was there about maybe eight, nine years ago. Oh, oh wow. Just, just Kathmandu and uh, uh, Kakabita on the border. Right, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I got stuck there for a couple of days. Uh, oh, transport yeah. problems. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Um, Nepal isn't a country we normally think of when you think of the heavy metal scene. Um, are, are you a unique band in Nepal, or is there a, a, a little underground scene that we we aren't aware of? There's a there's a little underground scene. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a good movement of metal uh, metal movement. It is small, but it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty intense, like very like brewing at the moment, you know. So yeah. I think it is the best time in Nepali underground metal scene in, in, in this era now. A lot of bands are coming out from Italy. Yeah. Yeah. So where, where about you guys based? Uh, Kathmandu. Kathmandu. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, yeah. Obviously, biggest city by a, a large margin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is it? Um, I mean, uh, uh, Nepal is a fairly, a fairly open country in terms of you don't, you don't have to hide heavy metal there at all. You, is it easy to play there? Is it easy to get gigs in Nepal? I mean. <laughs> Mix both, I would say. Yeah, mix up both. We do our own shows. Yeah. So, you know, it's I, for us, it's way better, like, and we're um, 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 I guess e easier to like yeah. do our own show, and then um, yeah, and then we run a festival, our own festival called Silence Festival. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. It, it depends, like, you know, if you were talk, I think what. what he's primarily saying is like for us we're kind of creating our own scene so we, we organize our gigs ourselves we kind of like uh, international metal festival every year as well yeah but if you're talking about challenge of being in nepal there are a lot of challenges you know yeah. like you know we had electricity cut for hours like like not even yeah. long ago a couple of years back you know yeah uh, i don't think state are much more open towards this form of music as such yeah but it's still the grind is there, you know. We keep doing what we have to do, so it's not not as as yeah. As it's it's, it's and, not that open. Like yeah. we don't have proper venues, you know. We don't have any support any from any the support from the, such, you know? from, from the government or you know anything yeah. as such. But still, still going and it's pretty much yeah. DIY. I yeah, would say, yeah, on, yeah. On, even on a large scale, it still is like us. We go out there, we put our own shows, and you know. Yeah. You, you can't keep metal down, can you? Just no, not you really. Know. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Cool. Well, as, as Monument was saying, when they started off, I don't know if you, you caught them this morning. Yeah. They yeah. were told when they started off, you need to be more more modern. You need to be different. Metal's dead. Not it's really, not. Yeah. Yeah, and, the, and the fact that small country like Nepal with a small population can still have a metal scene yeah. pretty yeah. much proves that. So well, what, what sort of style of music do you guys play? Are you straight middle of the road metal? Have you got some kind of um, a sound of your own? How do you describe yourselves? We do have, I mean we are a metal band you know. Yeah I mean like I would call it like a group metal but we are slowly like all the new songs we are we are, we are, uh, we are doing it right now. We're, I think we're planning to come uh, with a new album by the end of this year. Excellent. And then we're trying to incorporate our like local sound, you know, like ethnic sound. Not really like right in your face kind of thing. Like, you know, yeah. this is it. Like, okay, I will give you like the yeah. total, you know. But the, whatever blends with our music, you know. Yeah. So we're trying to, you know, have our own little sound. I think we, we, we kind of in search of what defines us, you know, because like yeah. the music we're doing now is not necessarily that, that originated from Nepal, right? So, yeah. but, but then we come from a place and we want to kind of bring the elements of our cultures and, you know, like you said, like for example, today we have productions and we're trying to incorporate some dancers and they're going to be like pretty much representing a certain cult of Nepal in, yeah. in, in a way, right? So we're trying to find that balance at the moment to kind of have what defines us, you know? So I guess we're just evolving at the moment, right? right? Mm -hmm. yeah. is, this, is this your first trip to the UK? Have we have done a couple of shows, but this is the first to the UK uh, outdoor open festival, yeah. We're pretty yeah. excited, yeah. yeah well, uh, have you been here uh, for the last couple of days or did you just, just arrive this morning? Or? No, no, no we, we've been here since, uh, we came here on Saturday actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Saturday. Saturday. No, Friday, 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 Friday,
Yeah. Good vibe. Good vibe. You're probably one of the few people here who aren't too bothered about the temperatures and the, and the weather. I think. <laughs> We've had a heat wave for the last three months. Yeah. Um, so, what do you think of, um, of, of Bloodstock as a home? I mean, what did you, what were you expecting before you got here, and then and compared to what you've actually well, encountered? You see, because like he said earlier, we do our festivals ourselves, and this yeah. is kind of the most uh, festival that we resemble yeah. our own festival because yeah. we, we we have one day fest, and the size is slightly smaller than this. Yeah. But for us to be in a festival of a small but it's still yet quite yeah, vibrant, there's, lo there's lot know? there's lot to learn, you know. I've yeah, been like absolutely. literally watching everything <laughs> like the stairs and the light placement, and like you know, like yeah. as a production from the production point, point of view, I'm like yeah, literally yeah. watching everything. Yeah. So it's, always, uh, it's, yeah. it's it's very interesting. I, I I love it because it's like it's not massive that you get lost. Yeah. Just like you feel like home, you know. You go there, you meet, you know. It's easy to find friends and like yeah. I don't know. Just, just to and fro from ten to the side is not a nightmare, you know. Yeah. Like yeah. few few weeks back, I was in Dalian with a few of my friends, and we were just like, ah, oh, exhausting to walk. So in a way, I think we kind of for for guys for the first fest, yeah, very decent size yeah. to start with, you know. So. Yeah. So far, so good, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry about the weather. The last three years, the weather's been absolutely fine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. we got the weather, you know. But it's okay, I, mean, I, I don't mind, you know. Oh, you're, you're playing in a tent anyway, aren't you? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So. Fine, so it could work in your favour. Uh, you're on the Sophie stage? Yeah. Uh, what, what time are you playing tonight? 20 past 3. 20 past 3? Yeah. 20 20. Fantastic, should just be able to catch you. It'll be good. Yeah. Amazing. Um, have you got anything like, well, you mentioned you got the dancers uh, lined up on stage. Have you got anything else? Special plan in terms of songs, or are you just going for ones that you're used to? Are you, are you trying? No, new we have songs we have like our um, we have like five, six, half new songs and new half songs old songs. So like for it's like really, really <laughs> new songs. Or I'm, we're kind of like <laughs> we have just played those songs once, once so, okay. and then we did like four days before we left Nepal. So oh, every you, you, you practice, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're pretty excited. I think it should be fine. Pretty excited. Be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah. But like, excited to play that those songs because the the production. Production-wise, those songs songs have a lot of elements yeah. comparing to the old songs. You know, old songs are like, like flat, good songs, but like yeah. it's like street. I, I, yeah. But this song we have like you it, know it, like you. samples, yeah. Yeah. like you know all those like background, you know like mm -hmm. you're trying to create a little bit of. There's, there's something new. Yeah. yeah. So I think if if the band, if somebody was to see Underside today, I think it would be they would kind of get of. The, the test of how band has evolved, you know, the, yeah. the, the first five songs you mentioned about is going to be a lot different to yeah. what we were doing. So still the elements are the same, but you could see how band is evolving over the years, you know, and I think that's what keeps us more fresh as well as a band as, band as well, you know. Yeah. Uh, just one, one last question, just come to the name, Underside. It's a good name. I know amazing nobody's used it before. Where, where did you come up with it from? Is it something that sounded good or is there a reason for that? Yeah, no, I think like... Yeah, it's like, because uh, I was like, how do we start this with? So, the vocalist is not here, um, and then he, he just... Oh, no, it, it was like more of like, you know, being in a third world country and like having all those troubles, like, you know, like difficulties, to, you know, like... You're you know, always you know, on you know, the side you know, if you are there. On a regular you know basis saying. that we are under <laughs> all those like, yeah. you know, like that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the idea about the, yeah. about the name of the band, like we're still like, under the, the whole world, whatever is happening, you know, we're trying to come out, kind of like that's that's the idea of, of the of the name actually. We're still underside of you know being a third third one de developing country, a lot of difficulties, like you know, yeah. every day there's like new issues you have to face, and you know, yeah. so. Um, so it ties in with the country as a whole and obviously the, the music yeah, aspect yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a nice name, it sounds like a word even though it actually isn't one, it's just spot on. So yeah. it's, it's a good name, I like it. Well Thanks, man. Thanks man, thank you very much. <laughs> Guys, um, it's been a real <laughs> pleasure talking to you. Um, I really hope your journey over here has been worth it um, and you take some British mud home with you. Sure, thanks man. Thank you. And we'll, we'll see you again at some point, catch you this afternoon, 20 past 3 on Sophie's stage. Thanks very much.